let's say, go between, a stage or a step in the process of turning yourself on. And that process, in that process, is nature. Because nature is like the backup on the holocron. It, it's containing the most current backup of who you really are when you're experiencing yourself in a greater magnitude. So earth, plants, trees, like there's a lot of stuff here. Like I'm baffled every day that I get a chance to look into what else may be here. But that's a clear sign that that's, it could turn up to that magnitude. But right now, while you're existing as, let's say, Sean or James or Mike or Susie or Jane or whatever, you're not existing as Herbert the Frog <laughs> or uh, uh, Zuzu the, the Whale. You're being that. But the nature always gives you that mirror to say, hey, you know that you're also all these other vessels. Like you could take really any one of these vessels in the out for a spin tonight in your imagination and, and really be there too. Like nobody's gonna be telling you you're not a whale. <laughs> nobody's gonna be telling you you're not a dolphin in your own lucid dream that you choose to become that. We'll talk about this in here in just a moment, but this is what we're talking about. We're talking about broadening the scope, if you may, of what we've accepted as our identity but there's a step-by-step -step process. And so the first one is nature as a mirror. It's the backup, it's showing you, okay, this is what else you are, even though you're choosing to be that right now. And the reason why this has to actually be here is that the moment that you choose or anyone else, because there's more people here and more souls and beings here than just you to become something else, then they know exactly how to adapt that. They can sit there and they can watch that, begin to emulate that and then actually begin to become that so much if they become dedicated to it. So a lot of this is really about dedication. And this is why any kind of relationship, it does take dedication. But this relationship really first starts with yourself. You have to be dedicated to yourself. This is what we talked about in the beginning. If you just, you know, you get back around everybody, you start laughing, you, eat, you know, two, three days have gone by, you're not reading anything. Hey, you're still in time. Do you really have the luxury to do that? And it's not so much as a luxury in the sense of something's going to happen, but it's like, yo, check yourself. Because just because everyone else is taking breaks, does the sun take a break? Like this, there's no sunset for the sun. There's a reason for that metaphor. Because you can anchor to it when you start getting tired. Be like, yeah, but there's no sunset for the sun. You know, they're gonna start using that in the club now. <laughs> but the, the truth is, is that to empower yourself has everything to do with being attracted to yourself. And when you realize that you are nature and you start having those experiences, then it's very difficult to press you back down into the bottle. Let's just say it like that. So the next thing is, is that there's already relationships established within your being. Relationships that, man, these two are tight. They're like Bonnie and Clyde. Like, there's gonna be no separating them. There will be a shootout before they leave each other and somebody will die. This is Kundalini and Oxygen's relationship. Okay? Kundalini, the energetic potential and principle of your body, utilizes air and prana to sustain itself in its sleep. Just because it's not sleep, I mean, excuse me, just because it's sleep doesn't mean it's not breathing, right? Same thing with you. Just because you go to sleep at night doesn't mean you don't, you just stop breathing. <laughs> you stop breathing, somebody puts something over your mouth, you're gonna wake up, right? So that's the same thing with Kundalini. The relationship is, is that oxygen stimulates the Kundalini. And when you play with the oxygen, even deprive the Kundalini oxygen at certain states where the blood is more oxygenated, it has a hardwire firmware to wake up. And the reason that that's put there is because the Kundalini, which could, you know, they always depict that as a serpent or a dragon because it's what the consciousness rides on when it makes its trip up out of here. It's like, okay, Kundalini, it's time to go. This physical body then. Look at it, it's, it's gone, like hurry up. And remember, Kundalini is quick. 
You'd be amazed how quick and fast you get with this energy. So that energy, it moves, and what it's moving for is that, let's say, for instance, you get hit by a car and it's over, the Kundalini has already risen out of the spine before that has even happened. Come pop right out the top of the top of the head, grab the, the last backup, basically, and is ready to go to its next incarnation. So the process of this breathing in Tantra is really to excite the Kundalini to get to the next stage of what it can be doing, but also staying in the stage that it started in. Let me say that clearly. It's basically about waking yourself up to act club afterlife and all the abilities that you can have there while staying in physicality also and not waiting until some disaster befalls you in, 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 uh, in physical reality and then you gotta up and try to figure out how to uh, guide the ship out of another incarnation and into an incarnation that you want if you decide to incarnate at all as a professional reincarnator. Because remember, just like any spaceship, this has autopilot, so it will autopilot you back into another incarnation. A big purpose of these classes is to allow you to begin to guide your own vehicle. That, that's a depth. That's, has, that's a depth no, having now the maturity of being able to determine its incarnations and determine how it wishes to exist. But that is rewarded to a, a being when they start to take interest in those things. Like when you start to really tweak your system, if you may, and start to deal with your own consciousness, then that's what we're talking about.